President Obama was re-elected and so was Senator Nelson and we're here to congratulate them. Uh, we're happy that they were re-elected but, to, but today is the day that we come to ask them to represent us, uh, represent the people from Florida, the people who stood in line for hours upon hours, the people who called their friends, their families, who made sure that, they, that, that all of the voters that supported our specific issues were on Tuesday in line and were ready to vote. Uh, we are specifically asking for four things. Uh, we're asking for the end of separation of families and for immigration reform to be passed. For good jobs to be included instead of cuts in the public, public sector and Medicare. We're asking for LGBT workers to be respected and uh, for them not to lose their, uh, their jobs just because of their sexual orientation or their gender identity. And for, uh, and for an investment in education instead of jails. Buenas, uh, aquí estamos para felicitar al, la victoria del presidente Obama en todo su partido demócrata y Green Nation. Y estamos aquí para decirle a, al presidente y a Green Nation de que no haga corte eh, en todos los sentidos, mediqueas, en, en los trabajos, que creen más trabajo en el país para que la, la economía suba a, en el país y, y que todo sea, que, que se pongan de acuerdo, sea ambos partidos para que el país salga adelante y sea como era antes, tú sabes, una potencia de, como de, con, con más trabajo y más eh, I'm a 24 year old undocumented student. I've been here since I was 18 months old and our status got denied when I was um, about 18 years old. And although um, education had been something my parents always pushed upon and encouraged me to achieve, um, it was going to be hard seeing as we weren't going to be receiving um, federal funding. I was not going to get any federal aid. I wasn't going to get any sort of um, scholarships. And um, I had to pay out of state tuition. Currently, in the university I attend, it's $6,000 for in-state students and about $18,000 for out-of-state students. Paying $6,000 for a low-income family is a lot of money, and $18,000 for an, an immigrant family is a fortune. So, um, I want to know that there's going to be some sort of um, funding to education as opposed to prisons. Prisons do nothing for our communities. Education does so much. And I want to know that there's going to be funding for education as opposed to detention centers, which do nothing but rip our families apart. Um, we all have dreams, and amongst those is our education. And I want to know that we're going to have support for everybody to achieve their dreams, whether it be an immigrant family or it be low income. Everyone has a chance to get that dream. Education on deportation! Education on deportation! This is by far the most terrifying speech I think I would ever give. So my name is Bridget Jones. I'm 23 years old and I'm a graduate of the illustrious Howard University. I'm a daughter, I'm a sister, I'm an aunt, I'm a community organizer, an artist, and a proud member of the LGBT community. And I will no longer be invisible. See, the reason why this is so terrifying is because I understand that every human being has a critical eye and that the great majority of the community 
the African American community in my neighborhood will never see the LGBT struggles and the oppressions that people in that community face as similar to the same as the civil rights era of the 1960s and 70s. See, but the struggles are, are magnetized by, by more than just memory. So what we're here for is we want to have, we want Obama to sign an executive order to have more equal protections in the workplace for LGBT community. And we hope that he will sign this order. Buenas tardes, me llamo Fidi, Marisa Fidi. Soy una víctima más de los niños sin padre. Yo soy cubana. Mi niño tiene ahora nueve años. Eh, a los tres años de que mi niño nació, Mi padre estaba trabajando, llegó la inmigración, se lo llevó, ya el niño tiene nueve años y como yo hay muchas madres, muchos padres que necesitan que ya paren de estar deportando personas, trabajadoras, necesitamos que nos ayuden de esa parte. Eh, ¿Qué le puedo decir? Necesitamos que se acuerden de las promesas que nos han hecho. Así señor presidente, lo queremos y lo felicito por haber ganado. Bueno, muchas gracias. Sí se pudo, sí se pudo, pero sí se pudo. ¿Qué queremos? that came here today to be with us to say a very to send a very clear message to Washington DC that we organized so they could win and we're gonna continue organizing so our demands so our voices can be heard in our nation's capital. Thank you. Nous content que nous te très failli, nous faillit pour nous te faire une élection. Mais si nous pas faillit comme ça, si nous pas t'aimer dire, si nous pas t'aimer dire, nous on doit te nous te on doit te faire des élections. Mais c'est parce que nous te campé tant de fois qui fait nous gagner élection. Reconnaître pour voir ça, c'est pas un pouvoir qui sortit sur la terre, c'est dans bon Dieu, c'est Jésus de Nazareth qui va. Et nous même haïtiens, nous grand pile résultat que fierté nous, nous connaissons avec bon Dieu qu'elle prend. Moi personnellement, je ne connais pas personne qui a pris le pouvoir. Donc, au nom de, de Jésus. Parce que son, son sacré, les prophétie. Les prophétie, c'est pour le fait. Je le fais. Vous mettez ça, vous voulez, c'est pour le fait. On n'a pas tant ni pour mon Dieu protéger. Pour faire 8, il fait l'autre 4 ans là. Et puis finir, finir, la petite. Un bon exemple pour nous-mêmes, nous, qui ont traité comme monde qui n'a pas qu'à faire, qui bon. Donc, eh bien, les sujets noirs, l'ILA, là, par exemple. Et professeur, c'est la dernière chose. Merci beaucoup. Nous avons une réponse, président Obama, parce que nous travaillons plus fort, nous avons été tant ça le pour mettre la poule bonne. Ouais, c'est ça n'a pas fait. Nous n'avons pas de job dans Miami. Nous avons marché pour nous comme délégants. Nous n'avons pas de job dans Miami. Nous avons tout rasé. Nous avons rasé. Nous n'avons pas de rien. Nous avons fait pour nous. Même travail, nous n'avons pas de table. 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 Nous pas nous Yo quisiera que tanto el presidente Barack Obama y el senador Bill Nelson eh, trabajaran pa, por el desempleo. Estamos viviendo en un momento que hay mucho desempleo. Yo soy una que estoy desempleada. 
llevo un año y medio desempleada y nosotros lo apoyamos a ambos eh, para que ellos no, no, trabajen para nosotros, nos apoyen a nosotros. Queremos más empleo porque hay muchas personas que están desempleadas y estamos viviendo una crisis muy difícil en estos momentos. Menos recorte y más empleo, sí. Por eso apoyamos al presidente y apoyamos al senador para que ellos trabajen por nosotros, ya que le dimos nuestro voto. We're here because so, as family members, as uh, so minorities, as uh, so, you know, Latinos, women, and LGBT, uh, we came out to say that uh, we re-elected the president. And you can clearly see it in the, in the polls and uh, who voted for the president. And, uh, you know, we want to see some change, uh, especially for the youth. Uh, we're tired of being criminalized. We're tired of going to prison instead of going to schools. Uh, in the, just in the state of Florida, we spend a lot more money into prisons, into detention centers, than education. So uh, one message that we're giving out there to especially Senator Nelson and uh, a lot of people uh, that actually work not only nationwide but also in the state, you know, um, we got a lot of people who have power over the state to stop putting money in jails, you know. We need money for education. We need our, our, our youth, we need our, our family members to be able to go to school, to be able to succeed, to be able to, to have that education that they all need. And once we, we start putting more money into education, we're going to see how the economy gets better. You know, we're going to be creating jobs. We're going to be giving something to, to, to all those young people so, so they can survive in this, in this country. And uh, they can also pursue their, dream, uh, their dreams. And, uh, you know, this is, this is the country and let's make it happen. Dream Defenders is a coalition of all Latinos and African Americans that have decided to come together to fight the criminalization of people of color. Uh, Within the last year, so so far we have seen that Latinos and uh, Black people are being criminalized, you know, just for minor offenses, and they're being they're being taken to jails, and they're not given the opportunity to go to schools. Uh, one reason, uh, we see that Latinos, uh, especially those who are undocumented, they can go to school because they have to pay out of state tuition, but then it is okay for them to go to jail, and then we're spending a lot of money to, in, into the jail system. Uh, so uh, just another fact, uh, Paul County, which is kind of like in the middle of uh, the state of Florida, a lot of these high school students are being incarcerated, you know, for minor offices. Um, we're going to see that even CSI, which I actually had it in high school, like if you if you had any problem with any other student, they would just take you to another classroom and, uh, you know, they would uh, talk to you. But now people, uh, students are being, you know, taken to jails. And uh, that's not how you fix the problems. That's not how you actually give an opportunity to someone that is young. Uh, they go through a lot even in their houses. So you don't know what's going on in their lives. So we need to change the whole system. And uh, we have realized that all these prisons, all these de detention centers are uh, putting a lot of money into these legislators. And they're the ones, you know, doing all that. So we need to come together and uh, we need to start fighting all that. And Dream Defenders is that space. Dream Defenders is, is the place where um, Latinos and African Americans can come together and uh, fight the system that is criminalizing all of us. We're here because uh, we're partly celebrating that uh, President Obama was re-elected and partly because we want to remind the President and Senator Nelson, the highest ranking Democrat in the state of Florida, that these elections were decided demographically more so than geographically and the groups that we work with and the groups that we represent, i.e. women, youth, uh, immigrants, uh, LGBTQ, were the ones who were out there in the streets, even undocumented people were out there in the streets encouraging people to vote and to exercise their, their democratic right to elect our politicians and we did that because we believe in change and we believe it, the time has come for immigration reform, the time has come for economic justice, the time has come for equality for all people regardless of immigration status, uh, race, uh, nationality, uh, sexual orientation or identity and President Obama is, has been re-elected for another four years, you know, the pressure of being re-elected is no, no longer there and he has people supporting him so there is no excuse this time around for not affect the, the changes that we've been promised uh, from, from the first time around. So we're here to represent not only our own 
constituency, but to send solidarity with everybody who went out there and put so much work into getting President Obama and Senator Nelson re-elected. I'm here to ask President Obama to sign an executive order for LGBT people to have protections in the workplace. That's it. Um, what's your kind of personal reason for being here, your personal perspective? Well, I am a, a member of the LGBT community, and I find that here in the state of Florida, um, that people in the LGBT community don't have as many rights as um, heteronormative people. And, you know, I can walk into any hotel and be denied. I can have a job and be fired simply because I am a lesbian and I don't believe that that's right. And since we do have a supporter in the White House, it is a great time for our rights to be heard and our voices to, to resonate amongst the crowd. So I'm super excited and I hope that Obama keeps his promise to us.